The National Football League season is about ready to get underway, and it seems it's probably a good time to see how the league is doing. Financially, the money keeps rolling in from TV, from stadium revenue, and corporate support is not a problem. Despite all of the difficulties the league has faced over the past few years, from players getting arrested for various crimes to owners getting arrested for drug usage, and paying a massive fine for defrauding vendors at a non-NFL business. The player pipeline from youth football to the NFL is in good shape as the same amount of kids playing high school football stabilized and nearly the same number of children were on the high school fields in the last two calendar years. Fans still hate Commissioner Roger Goodell even though they're not sure why they should hate him. The league will continue playing in London and is beefing up the league's presence in the city and there is a plan to play a game in Mexico. The league is still trying to figure out whether the NFL brand is big enough to play a preseason game in China or maybe a regular season game. The NFL has found out in the past that the NFL brand means nothing in China as two preseason games in 2007 and 2009 were scrubbed. The league is back in Los Angeles after a two-decade absence after Stan Kroenke moved his St. Louis Rams back to L.A. There are two problem franchises, Oakland and San Diego, as those teams' owners are looking for new stadiums. San Diego has a stadium referendum scheduled for November 8th, and Mark Davis is trying to put together a stadium in Las Vegas. It seems Oakland has no interest in putting up more public money to satisfy the Davis family's needs, but the league is doing rather well heading into next week's opening games. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.